Jury selection is underway for a trial in what for decades was one of Jacksonville's most notorious unsolved murders, the disappearance and death of Bonnie Haim back in 1993. Her husband is now charged with killing her. The case had remained cold until 2014 when her son happened to find his mother's remains hidden in the backyard of the family's north side home. News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson joins us live from the Duval County Courthouse to tell us how the jury selection is going. Scott. Well, Mary, it's still ongoing. This has been a long, deliberate process. It started a little after 9 this morning. They are still going through dozens of potential jurors trying to seat a 12-person jury. They are asking them a lot of questions to determine who should, in fact, figure out whether Michael Hame is guilty. Michael Haim sat in the courtroom today awaiting a long week as prosecutors lay out their case, arguing he killed his wife, Bonnie, in 1993. This is a case that remained unsolved for decades with few leads until the couple's biological son, who had taken ownership of their family house, was preparing to sell it. While digging in the backyard, he dug up the skull of Bonnie Haim. That led police to Michael Haim, who was living in North Carolina at the time. I sat down with Gene Nichols, an attorney not affiliated with this case. He says while the location of Bonnie Haim's remains point to her husband as a suspect, it won't be enough to get a conviction. While there may be a presumption, there may be a feeling, there may be a concern, there may be a thought that this defendant must have been the one to do it, must have been the one to do it is not beyond and to the exclusion of every reasonable doubt. Nichols says the fact that these remains likely sat untouched for more than 20 years means this will be a very hard case for prosecutors to prove. But the remains were in her, his backyard. Sure, and the remains were there, and so somebody at some point in time put those remains in the back of his yard. It makes us want to presume that he committed the crime, but once again, the government is going to be forced to show that he committed the crime. So both the state attorney and the defense lawyer are talking to the jury pool to see how they feel about this case, asking them a lot. Did you see any recent media reports, including on News for Jackson, a big front page article in the Florida Times Union this weekend about this case? They want to know if their opinions of this case have been tainted. Also asking these jury pool members, are you part of the medical industry? Do you maybe have an opinion? Because a lot of things involving medical details and DNA will be brought into this case. We'll have an update coming up at six. For now, we're live downtown at the courthouse. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. Scott, do you have any idea if Michael Hayne will testify in the trial? We don't at this point. It does not look like he will, according to at least Gene Nichols, who I talked to. He doesn't see why he would, because he says they're trying to force the state to prove that he did, in fact, kill his wife and in fact she was murdered but they're dealing with the remains that were buried for decades it may be a difficult case to prove and they don't want to offer up michael Haim on the stand to possibly incriminate himself back to you scott johnson reporting to us live thank you scott